I, I was I was surprised when I saw that these two were playing uh, a bit early. You're not used to seeing Fiction playing the strongest competition uh, this early in SoCal. That's right. He usually is the strongest competition out here. And how do you like this, folks? You come back from a short break, uh -huh. and you have gameplay right away. You don't have to see the hand warmers. It's all been doing. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no time break. wasting. No just time going wasting. straight into the match. Which, uh, you know, Fiction said before the the tournament started that this weekend wasn't going to be one of the ones where he'd been, you know, strongly in practice leading into the event. But uh, he's still playing well. I, I, I think Fiction is the type of player who's just so solid at the game and has just such, like, mapped out flow charts for a lot of different situations that even if he's a bit out of practice, he's still going to do pretty damn well. I mean, he's been playing the game long enough, you would imagine so. Yeah. So Jmook takes an early lead. Jmook now the first seed at this tournament after Zayn decided to go Roy. Oh, wow. Ooh. I think we were all a little bit surprised that Fiction made it back. Usually when, when the bird gets clipped with a couple of needles off stage, that's, that's going to do it. It but. usually should be Curtis. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Okay. Uh, and then, oh, okay. Good DI to survive that down tilt that... That percentage seemed like it would kill, but there we go. That one should do it. Fiction ties it up, but uh, not before taking a bunch of damage. And Falco, unfortunately, at this percentage is uh, very threatened. What an up tilt. Yeah, it calls out that drop back. down. Yeah. Oh, clean it up. Okay. Yeah, Mac manages to make it back in. Oh, he just waits. Wow, just so menacing. Jmook just walking forward. Yeah. Shoot your lasers. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, manages to make it back in. I feel like Jmook has been very good at the edge guarding so far. Alright. Dang. Three stocks to one. Yeah, it's game one pretty. though. Oh, I got I gotta remember that. Fiction can probably hear me. I'm like standing or sitting right behind him. And it's, it's still not over. I'm not being loud, right? All right, good. No, nah, we're good. We're good. All right. They have a job to do. We have a job to do. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Actually manages to DI well out of that up tilt to make sure he doesn't get grabbed after his fiction. Oh, rare miss from Jmook right there. Trade. Grab follow up. Got to make this edge guard count, or at least uh, keeping Jmook in the corner. But nope. Finds a way in. Nice down tilt. That was good. Down tilt into Nair to close it out. Okay. Jmook just okay. so Strong composed. Strong start. Mm -hmm. Just so composed. You can just tell with the gameplay where it's yeah. feeling comfortable just walking forward, feeling comfortable just waiting in situations, not always moving around frantically. Yeah, very patient. And fi Fiction's uh, the type of player that does play pretty patiently and solidly in a positional way. So there's... You kind of, he kind of eats that style alive for people that are just constantly aggressive and trying to get in on him. So the fact that Jmook is approaching it pretty patiently is actually smart for this particular matchup. Okay. Oh, that Nair just slightly out of range from any kind of punish on Fiction's shield. Okay, sneaks in underneath the laser. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Questionable DI, maybe... Possibly expecting a down tilt? I'm not too sure about that yet. First lead for Fiction in this set. Yeah. Okay. Lasers playing their part. Mm -hmm. Creating the openings. Oh, okay. almost had something cooking. Yeah. Uh, nice up tilt. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay, manages to get the, uh, the downer that ends up sending Jmo slightly behind to continue the edge guard. Oh, you know Jmook's gonna hit the bombs oh, yeah. attacks. His power shields have been really good, though. Sneaky Nair, small stage. Yeah, Fiction looking really strong. But we have seen Jmo get full on stocks from this percentage plus. That didn't happen there. But it's, it's like Jmook stays a threat even at the 120, 130, 140% range. Just because of the uh, his proficiency and 
down throw tech chasing? Yeah, the I mean the punishment yeah. is insane. Yeah. So do you remember do you remember that game where J Muck ended up crouch canceling something from I think it was Zane at like a hundred and eighty percent and then that crouch cancel led to a punish that ended up being like a zero to death? <laughs> I think That's I know insane. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh you know, down tilt yeah. at the ledge just yeah. just playing a huge role for J Muck right now. And as we say it, Vix is still in the lead percent wise, but Pico was just saying the same thing that one grab, one grab could just be it all. Oh, surprising. Survive there, but J Mo. Uh oh, oh, uh -oh. oh well, that might be a big conversion. Oh, makes it in. Okay. Oh, I love the love the power shield. Yes. Wave dash forward into forward tilt. Okay. Solid lead by fiction. This is definitely still within crouch cancel percent for uh, Falco. Maybe not so much anymore. Oh, oh there it is. is. Wow, the re-grab. Okay, really good DI by Fiction, but still the re-grab from JMO covering that. That absolute oddball DI still covers it. What an angle on the recovery from Fiction. Very, Very well-placed lasers, too, on these edge guards by Fiction. Ooh. Yeah, this is close. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay. Explosive start. Mm -hmm. yeah, JMO's still a huge threat right now. May, uh, fix, I almost said mango. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to shut him down with lasers. Yeah, I'm for a weak hit back right there. Okay, ooh, nice tilt. Nice little angle Amber? to it. Ah, oh, this, that I, I think a back here would have landed. It felt like it. Well, up here would have killed, and he could have hit that. Yeah. <laughs> it might oh, come back to dodges harm. the lasers, no shot. Oh, and then the jab. Uh, oh, the other one missed. Oh, oh, well, this very smart down air. Super oh, smart down air. God. I think any other aerial from that position, JMO can survive it, but the down air actually sets up JMO perfectly for that follow up back air. I mean, I'll just would say. KO. Oh, no, yeah. you're right. I mean, if, if, if Fiction wouldn't have cleaned that stock up, though, and yeah. died, it, it, it would have been a 3 0. It would have been 3 0. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. That, that would have been it. And, and like, it was, it was sick because JMO placed those needles pretty well, but Fiction found a timing on his side B to just slightly dodge them and get back on ledge to have that chance. Because, I mean, j -Mook looked like he was a almost able to close it off the ledge. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see if Fiction is gonna continue to come up with those lasers from the ledge. Mm -hmm. He's doing it a lot, and he got called out from it a handful of times now from j -Mook. Yeah. Uh, a couple of them worked, but that down tilt has been going to work for j -Mook at the ledge. Now, FOD is gonna be uh, a tougher task just because sometimes these platforms end up at this perfect height that gives Sheik just a, a lot of potential against Falco, who ends up on the platform. Yep. Yeah, I was talking about Fountain the other day uh, on screen uh, in regard to, to Bird, right? In, yes. in regard to Falco, and it's like some Falcos love it. Um, yeah. Other ones, you know, the platforms can make things a little dicey. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's just all about how they randomly decide to uh, change heights. So it could be a, an advantage for uh, Falco, or the, the height could just ruin everything. Whereas I don't really feel like Sheik suffers too much from any height. I, think, I, I would agree. For the most it part. doesn't feel like it. You know, it's just like if the Sheik can get oh the my. threat of its, uh, you know, of Sheik's tilt from the ground and you're poking below a shield, that's just like so powerful. Yeah, also Sheik's up tilt, which is already an, an insane move, yeah. just becomes ultra buffed yeah. on this thing. Yeah, it's strong when you're facing an opponent that's on the ground, but if you're under them and they're on a platform, they're, they're, they're screwed. Uh, Brutal. Just look at what we're witnessing right now. This yeah. is just a... Dude, why does everyone get four stocked on this stage? It always happens on this stage. Clear spanking if I've seen one. <laughs> Okay, good grab by Fiction. Oh my god. Yeah, like see, these up tilts are so powerful on this stage. Slide you off slide. You need the height, you need the height. All these tilts, yeah. J Mook is just having a field day with yeah. these tilts. Okay, a little dash dance grab. That should be it. And that is definitely it. Quick game, quick game. That was a very fast one. 2 1, J Mook. Golf clapping from the crowd. Definitely a SoCal yeah. crowd out here. Look at this guy. He's just like, just aesthetic doubt. He has. <laughs> The matching shorts, with the shirt, even the oh, water bottle. Did you see the water bottle? The water bottle 
was the same color pattern. Was yeah. that kind of turquoise? You know it's on purpose. It's on purpose. Oh, oh okay. Fancy shine. Uh, Fission definitely going to benefit from all this space and from more stable platforms. You can see it already from the beginning, aiming to just control the space with lasers to start. Oh my god. Big punish from J-Mook. Huge punish. He's still going. Oh my. The sweet spot at the end. That one's going to be in some highlight reels. Oh yeah. Okay. And that started that started with a slide off up there. Oh. I like that, that Fission right didn't platform. go for the ledge there. Oh no, the needle's just making a mess of that down tilt. Oh, catches the jump. That's brutal. Yeah, that, that can't feel good. Oh. Okay. No jump. Just the upper. Uh, right, one stock lead. Okay. We all know what Falco's capable of. Yeah. A couple shines and... Oh, yeah, it's definitely within reach. 80% or death. Oh, gets a shield poke for the up tilt. It keeps this combo going. No jump. Nice up tilt. Ooh. Still ledge. no jump. All this control by Fiction, but doesn't close it out. Let's see I mean, it just seems as though, you know, a, only a moment ago, we were just talking about how much of a lead J Mook had. Oh, yeah. And he's almost at 140. Oh, oh barely. Yeah, it doesn't do the, the quick get up. Up for a roll. Might come back to haunt him. Oh. Nice. That knowledge to, to feel. To sense that J-Mook was gonna go for an attack on shield right there and then beats it out with his nair or sorry, back air out of shield. Yeah, that's the second time that J-Mook's thrown out up smash out of shield, which I'm a big fan of. Yes. Uh, you usually only see it with Fox, but it's still an amazing option with other characters. Yeah. Such as Cheek, but it hasn't worked out yet. Wow, and then just a huge punish to just shut down any momentum that Fiction was hoping to gain from that. Yeah. I mean, these stocks are just melting off of any opening that either player gets. Oh, oh that, was, that was core that was punish quick. game. What was that? Nix! Excuse me? Oh. Sir. Just baiting out a shine and then ends up shield dropping to punish it. Well, this could be it. Yeah, j Mook's just been so clean. Nice. Oh! Ooh. If that forward tilt was possibly angled upward, that might have been no punish for Fish. There's, there's hope. There's hope. There is. SoCal getting loud. Oh! Doesn't oh, even yeah. bother with the re-grab. Just I mean the, the the tech chase, the tech chase bear. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that was great. What do you do? That's just so powerful. Yeah. What a game! What a game one. You come back yeah. from a break. That's a, a great set. A great, great set to start. Yeah. We got another banger coming up. 